Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel and the New York Giants Fantasy Rebuild here. Going into the third season of this rebuild, let's get right into it. But thank you for clicking on the video and being here with me and joining me on this journey of YouTube with making all these videos. But enough's enough. Let's get right to resigning. Of course, Malik Neighbors, absolutely. Let's get that fifth year option in there. About a boom. Okay, okay. We'll just see. Hang on a second. Let's see who we have to resign. Ben Sarah, no, too much. Um, El Elijah Chapman, eh, four mil for one year as a backup. Uh, will you take uh, four mil even? Free agency, that's fine. Uh, there's really not many people to fully resign. I mean, Demarcus Lawrence is crazy that he led the league in sacks, but. Let's move on from him. Let's continue rolling down this page here. There's really nobody else other than the kicker, but seven years. Let's give him a uh, five mil contract. That's great. Welcome back. And uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll give you two years to come back. Will you do that? He'd like to play for a new team. Okay, that's fine. I understand, you know, veterans and stuff moving on from the league and all that. But we have 140 million. Let's get into free agency. Alrighty, before we go into the draft, let's just take one more overview of this team before I go in there. Offensive line is going to be a big point of this offense because, other than that, I mean, let's just move that up. This is what the offense is looking like. Not bad. I mean, yes, could we use another tight end? But Hutchins is still growing. Nance is still growing. I mean, unless there's like a crazy 90 overall, whatever. Uh, same thing. But uh, same thing with the offensive line, unless there's like a crazy overall. I mean, and but that is what we need to upgrade. We need to upgrade O line. I mean, receivers. We can look for the third, third receiver, slot receiver, or just big man. Defense. We're looking at a possible linebacker because you know we got Witherspoon. We could be looking for that. We could be looking for another defensive lineman because we just let Lawrence go. And we could be looking for anybody in the secondary. Hopefully there's at least one of those positions on there. I mean, we do have the money to spend. And I'll probably do like a two-year contract or something like that. But let's go take a quick look at free agency. Who do we got here? Uh, nothing spectacular. Um, I'm going to comb through it real fast. And I will be right back with who I pick. Already coming through the free agency, this is what I got. Uh, everyone's on a one-year deal except Moore. He's on two years because eh, kind of kind of makes sense. And uh, his contract isn't that pricey, but uh, everyone else is on one-year deal and uh, a lot of money, as you can see. We're down to 60 mil. I mean, 30 of it's going to Jenkins here. But evaluate. Let's see who we get. Hunter Henry doesn't want to come here. Uh, okay. Hunter, uh, uh, Rondell Moore did not come here. All right. So we got Jenkins, uh, uh, Williams, and Smith. Um, Hunter, we are going to uh, not give him that contract. Who else is here? Eh, we could get Devontae, but not really. Um, old Man Cup, no. I mean, we can get Elijah Moore. Uh, uh, just for one year, you know, see if he wants to come here, come back to New York, give him uh, five and five. We have the money, so why not? And uh, tight ends, we could still get Hunter Henry. He still does want to come here. We can get Bellinger back, but just for a backup tight end, uh, let's do very player player friendly, but one year. And uh, boom, I mean, we have the money to do one year contracts. It's not. You know, it's not terrible. Uh, backup quarterbacks, uh, just in case Josh Collins does get injured. Um, who could we get? I mean, the next back, best backup is, is uh, Will Levis, but he wants $33 million. Damn. We can get the journeyman uh, Gardner Minshew. We can get Tyler Huntley. Uh, Matt Moore, famous Jameis. I mean, we did have him last year. Uh, yeah, let's bring it back. Good locker room presence. All right, those are the th three next guys that we're going for targeted. If we get them, we get them. If not, 
Do we get them? All right, we got all the people we want for free agency to help boost this team forward. As you can see, up to an 87 overall now. Let's get right to the draft. Get this over with. This draft is going to be best player available per position. Once again, the draft, here we are. We did have a good regular season, so we are picking 26th, you know, near the end there. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, first position of need more than anything is end. So let's take a look at who is here. I know our system is a speed rusher, but we have a bunch of good um, uh, run stoppers here. But their uh, physical skill, I mean, they're, they're run stoppers. They're, they're not going to be the quickest off the line and all that. They should be the strongest, but they're really not. The one out of them all that I've seen that has the best uh, skills out of all of them, like... Talent wise is Kyle Jarrett. I mean I, I mean look at the combine. Look at this the combine scores and also what uh, what I've said before, awareness. Awareness in simulation really matters. If he has high awareness, he's most likely a good player. And boom, Kyle Jarrett, ranked twelfth. Normal development, but develop yeah, development's good to have, but in simulating yeah, awareness is better. Uh, second round, we got two second picks, second round picks. Uh, we will be going for probably corner, safety corner. And once again, coming to Virgil Worthy here, he has a awareness, and we will need a safety in the following season. Let's take him, Virgil Worthy. Where are you? True rank was nine. Not bad. And all right, there we go. End of hidden development. I like that. Next pick. We just have one more pick right here. And um, we could go linebacker. We could go offensive line. But I want to shore up this defense and just get somebody who fits the scheme. Vernon Larry. Okay, we missed on that, but he is a hidden development, so not really a miss. All right, hidden, not bad. Next pick. All right, where's our next pick? Right, near the end here. Um, yes, we could get another linebacker, but right now, I mean, not a backup quarterback. Uh, offensive line. Is there anybody that can fit to our offensive line? No, we're looking for power. The only power guy here is Robinson. We could get pass protector. You know, got BB. Uh, no, I mean, Steckler. All right, let's just take a look at the physicals of uh, D'Angelo Stecker. All right, and then uh, take a look at Branch. Oh yeah, let's let's take Branch as a. As a possibility of a next offensive lineman. Uh, at, after. Alright, what did we get? Not bad. 77. And a hint of. Alright. Hell yeah. We're, we're moving fast with these picks. I like it. Uh, I think that might be the last pick. Because honestly, after this, I don't know. Oh, oh uh, middle linebacker. Let's get another middle linebacker. Uh, Alright. Awareness. BBB. Uh, anyone fits our scheme? Run stopper here out of Hawaii. I like it. I like it. Let's take a look at the other guys, though, real quick. Uh, let's take a look at Adam Hall because his tackling is a D, and he's fast. That's about it. Uh, I'm just going to uh, Barrington. Let's just take him. All right. Wh where did he – was he selected? 100, 138, not bad, normal, mm, probably – low mid 60s but that's it for the draft let's go all right draft recap here we go Jarrett 76 worthy 76 69 for Larry 72 for branch so perfect back up there 68 by Barrington and pretty much everybody else throughout the rounds top guy of the draft was 
Andrew Charles picks second overall. Not bad. Uh, the Titans are going to be a force with him on that O-line. Not bad. These are the top guys here. We got one of the top guys here with Worthy. So, and uh, uh, Kyle. So, listen, I'll take it all day, every day. That is a steal. 75 overall in the fourth round. That, those are some steals. The fastest guy out of this draft was Monroe out of the sixth round. So, we got some speed in this draft. Not bad. And who's got the cannon of the arm? Who's got it? Uh, that's jumping. Wrong skill. Throw power. Here we go. Mike Ambrose out going to Texas, a 72 overall. Quarterbacks, we got a Manning. We got another Manning in the league. But the quarterbacks this year, not that uh, great in overall. I'm going to set up this lineup, get this roster set up, and then I will see y'all in the first week of the season. Alrighty, here we are the start of season three, week one here. Let's set the season goal. I mean, we had a amazing year last year, but just seven wins this year. I don't know if we can get to that point where we were last year. Upgrade the points here. These are just the points that the guys got during preseason. So you know, the rookie got two. Uh, the other uh, the other rookie got one. Josh Collins got one. You know, everybody else, you know, pretty much got one. Let's just add those up. See if that boosts the team overall a little bit. No, we're in 84 with 85 and 83. And uh, I don't like how this update of the game, this last update, you can't just auto-generate um, your roster anymore. It's conf It sucks. It takes a little bit more time, but whatever. Uh, this is what the offense is looking like. You know, not so different than last year, pretty much. It's pretty much the same offense uh, other than Jenkins being in there. Branch is the backup for all the positions, pretty much. Uh, so if anyone gets hurt, it's pretty much going to be him in there at first. So, so he gets as much time as possible on the offense. So it's pretty much the same. Um, no, let's put, uh, Johnson in there. Uh, we do have a fullback. I just need to put him in, in the, the lineup. Uh, it's still the same, uh, Breland Allen was on free agency. It's an absolute pickup, and all of our running backs are six one. So we got a big back room. Uh, defense, not much change. Uh, Worthy is playing backup for free safety, and Thompson, the other guy that we drafted just the past other year, is playing on the strong safety side as a, side as a backup. We have a pretty uh, deep secondary core now. Uh, everybody's young: Banks, Phillips, Silvers, Lowry, and. Calhoun, and they're both hidden developments, so probably stars. Um, Jarrett, I know he's going to have a good year. Hopefully Brown has a good year to uh, build on uh, his growth. And then, you know, special teams, you know, it's the same punter and kicker that we've had. Uh, specialists, uh, these are the guys, you know, in other positions. Breland is the third down, so you know, maybe you can grow him. We'll see how that works out. It was Tracy, it was Stevens. But, um, no, let's, let's put Stevens in there. I'm going to trust what I had before. All right, we'll do that. Uh, yeah, this is the team for the season three. Let me know what you think. Uh, I believe, I believe we can do just as good last year. Um, I'm just hoping for a big off season so we can, you know, everybody's, uh, contracts. Uh, I'll just show you everyone's, uh, you know, a lot of we have a lot of rookies on this team, so we can like for the next three years we have a rookie contract. Uh, two more years for Nance. I'm hoping this upcoming season, uh, this off season, there's going to be like one or two big guys that will really help us. But until then, I will see you at midseason. Alrighty, halfway through the year, we are three and four. We did come off back to back wins, so we were one and four. It looks like so the team is starting to gel into their own. Uh, Jameis is playing quarterback, so that means our quarterback is absolutely injured. Um, that is fantastic, but we are third in passing, so that is good. Contracts, who needs contracts? Dexter Lawrence, uh, absolutely will give you a contract. Who else? Uh, Tyler Newbin, well, we'll give you a contract. I like even numbers. So we'll do four for four and a half. You would like to stay here. Phillips, we can give you a contract. Marcus, I know you're moving on after this year, 
moving on, moving on. Might keep you, might not. Moving on, moving on. I'd signed him off of a practice squad. You know, we're moving on from a few of these guys here. You know, pretty much all of them. Definitely going to need to work on O-line because it doesn't seem like they're growing that fast. Drew Phillips, though, would like to keep you. Um, let's give you a three-year deal. Perfect. Uh, Dex, I know this is where most of our money is going to go. I mean, $75 million, It brings us down to uh, 80, 89, well, $90 million, just round that up. Two-year deal. Will you accept that? That's perfect. All right. We got Dex for two more years. We got $90 million. That's all the signing I'm going to do and possibly a little bit more going into the following season. Upgrade players. Who's gotten the most points so far? Let's just do this quick. Malik, Steven, you know, everyone's everyone's slowly growing. Only one point for a lot of these players. Let's go get them up. Does that affect our overall a little bit? Now still in 84. And Jameis is uh, welcoming the commanders. So... Yeah, uh, dislocated ankle, out for eight weeks, and uh, Steven Nance is out for three weeks. All right. So, huh. All right. Uh, Jameis is in there. I'm just curious. Is there anybody on free agency higher than a 70 overall quarterback? Mike Evans is on here. Not what we need. Quarterbacks. Nope. Malik Cooker, Derek Carr, Trey Lance. No. Okay. I have faith in you, Jameis. I always do. But... Trade center, trade block. Is there any quarterbacks on the trade block? Justin Fields. Hmm. We could get him for one year. But he's a 76 overall quarterback. And I can only imagine how how much they are asking for him. Even if we gave up a third. Is, is he even their starting quarterback? No. Anthony Richardson's the starting quarterback. Wow, they spent a lot of money on quarterbacks. All right. I'm just curious. Stats. Here we go. How long has he been injured for? He must have just got injured. Wow. And he was having a fantastic year. 13 and 3 with 1,300 yards. When did he get injured? Let's just take a stat. Man, he's got those ankles ta taped up anyway. Uh, season stats. He got injured week 6. All right. Uh... We could, I mean, Jameis, fam, uh, Jameis Winston, I know he's a good quarterback. 74% completion. I know he, didn't he just win MVP the uh, first year that he was in this league? Yeah, two years ago, I mean, but that's also mid, almost mid-70s. He threw 32 uh, touchdowns, 10 interceptions. It would show no faith in him. You know what? I'm going to try that trade. Uh, I'm just curious to see because it will help salvage our season and the overalls of our players because for the next eight weeks, we could possibly lose a lot of games and their overalls go down. I am just curious. The Titans. Um, I know you're trading away Justin Fields. I'm just curious. Would y'all do it for a fourth? Because we have the seventh overall pick. Fourth? No. All right. Third? A third round pick for... No, he, they're going to want more for that. I figured. And there's no one else on the trade block. I'm not going to trade for Tony Adams. Like, this, they're the same overalls, pretty much. All right. Famous Jameis, will you take us to the promised land of the playoffs? Um, just a quick look at the rest of the team's stats. I mean, we're doing pretty good. Josh just got hurt and Nance got hurt. So now it's up to, uh, Tracy and Breland Allen. Hendricks and, and Malik neighbors are having a fantastic year. Same thing with Brad Hutchins. I mean, everyone's having a good year receiving sacks wise, not looking the best. All right. Tackles, uh, sacks. The defense isn't doing that great, but like, stats-wise, they're technically not doing that great. I mean, they're not doing great at all. all right. Well, it is what it is. You can't do anything with injuries. Uh, our starting quarterback's out for eight weeks, but uh, 
I mean, he'll be back, be back at week 16. So I'm, I mean, if we can even make it there in, in any playoff contention, I mean, we started off rough here. We did come back and win against, I mean, Jameis did beat the Falcons. So, I mean, he's used to them. Realistically, out of the games, maybe we beat the uh, Panthers, the Bucks, uh, the Jets, the Raiders, maybe. Ah, it's going to be hard. Well, that sucks. I will see you at the end of the season. Hopefully, we're in the playoffs. Maybe not. Oh, fam oh famous Jameis, you absolute beauty. A 10-7 and seven season. We make the playoffs. Go in the wild card, going up against Green Bay. I mean, what a matchup that is. First, before any stats, Washington won uh, the NFC side, number one. Green Bay versus Giants, we're at Green Bay. Cardinals, Lions, Panthers, Eagles, AFC side, Baltimore's number one seed. Jags, the Battle of Florida, Jags, Miami, uh, Chiefs, uh, Chargers, not bad matchup. And then an old rivalry, Jets, Colts in the first round. Not bad across the board. Um, going into upgrades here, I mean, that's crazy. We made the playoffs. F famous Jameis did it. Brad Hutchison, four points. He had a good year. Same thing with Branch Malik Neighbors. A, a solid year across the board, it looks like. Uh, quick stats looking at it. Defense struggled a bit, uh, but they held in there. I mean, average across the board. I'll uh, I won't take it. I like a dominant defense, but hey, our running game wasn't the best. Uh, passing was pretty good. Points uh, weren't the best. Any uh, leaders in here for us? No. No one is up here whatsoever. All right. Wow. Jameis took us to the playoffs. 20 and 10. Not bad. That's why, you know what? That's why I rolled with you. 20 and 10. Not bad. 17 sacks, 69% completion. Nice. Um, hell yeah, man. Uh, what was it? You, you didn't. You started week six. You got that win you know, with one interception, 125 yards. A, a touchdown against the Falcons, not bad. A rough first week against the Commanders, one and four. Wow. So most of your interceptions came that one game. A bounce back week against the Dolphins. The Panthers we lost, but had a good game. The Bucks you won, the Eagles you absolutely trounced yourself, the Cowboys you did it yourself, the Commanders you had, seven of your interceptions came against one team. All right. But you came back and won yourself four passing touchdowns. Hell yeah. That Now that's a backup quarterback. But I mean, in real life, yeah, could you start in real life? Maybe. Uh, but hell yeah, that that's that's a backup quarterback you want. Hell yeah. Nance come back, came back from injury, only had 656 yards. Tracy, 252. Uh, Breland barely touched the ball. Uh, hell, oh yeah. A thousand yard receiving by Hendricks and Hutchinson. That's why he got those points from the tight end. Not bad, not bad at all. Malik Neighbors, 942. Moore, 8, 872. The running backs got a couple pairs. Theo Johnson got a couple. And Breland Allen got a catch. Sacks, we, we kept it. We kept it tight for the rest of the year. I like that. How did Branch do? He gave up two sacks and, you know, some snaps that he played. Not bad for a rookie. Tackling, Derek Weatherspoon. Not bad. 100 tackles. Uh, 14 tackles were lost by Dexter. 12 sacks by him. 8 by Burns. 6 by Jarrett. I can never get them multiple uh, high sacks. No matter what playbook I use, they, they just don't do it. Uh, Keontae Silvers, Banks. Got three apiece. Uh, Calvin Brown got two. Not bad. How many forced fumbles we have? Only two on the year. No fumble recoveries, though. We're not a very turnover-heavy defense, are we? All right. Uh, enough of that. Uh, kicking. I mean, is our guy up here? Not bad. 83%, but let's look back at defense. Tony Fields, Werner, Cooper, Henley, Greenlaw. Oh, Carrick? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Where is he? He's on the Raiders. All right, cool. 21 by J.J. Harris. Sack, le uh, sack leader, Adrian, Adrian Aiden, Aiden Hutchinson. Wow, names, right? Michael Parsons. Uh, Jair Alexander, eight interceptions. Hell yeah, not bad. Good for him. Uh, blocking, who gave up the most sacks? 
Wow, that is a lot. 20 sacks. Your receiving leader is Amon Ross St. Brown. That's pretty cool. Uh, top tight end out of Kansas City, Colin Larson. But our tight end is not too far down. I mean, he's pretty far down the board. <laughs> uh, rushing, Joe Mixon, ETN, uh, Brees Hall, top passers. Patrick Mahomes, 61 interceptions. That is Wow, that's crazy. Joe Burrow with 41. Tua, James Knapp, Hurt, uh, Josh Allen. Not bad. Who threw the most interceptions? Lewis Vogel with 24. Bo Nix with 19. Manning with 18. Young. All right. Enough of those stats. Let's get into the playoffs here. New ability unlocked. Ooh, the quarterback. What does he have? Closer, Bulldozer. Your scrambler. Dude, bulldozer? Seriously? Let's give you something. Let's give you a let's give you a quick draw. Screw it. Alright. Superstar. Not bad. Uh before I was doing that. Uh, yeah. Let's uh Can we beat the Packers? It's gonna be a tough game, especially with the the league interception leader over there. And uh, Josh Jacobs getting four yards of carry. They do have a better defense. Same overall offense. Can we do it next week no we cannot we lose 28 23 the contract is extended again uh i mean i'm surprised we even made the playoffs at all with uh with our quarterback hurt collins but famous james did the damn thing he led us to the playoffs it's uh only right i mean it's not only right we had we tried our best uh another playoff loss we did uh, we did lead on passing, but a crucial interception by Josh Collins. Only one sack against us. Josh Jacobs did beat us. You know, when you have a running game, it is hard to lose. Elijah Moore had a good game, though. Not bad. Sacks, who gave up the sack for us. Taft. Uh, sacks. Thibodeau, Lawrence got the sacks. And interception was a guy named Wall. All right. Um, hey, maybe the Packers make the Super Bowl. All right. Nope. It's what? It's the, it's the battle of the number one seeds, Baltimore, Washington, and in the same area. Wow, that is a Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes win MV, wins MVP. Not surprised. Dan Quinn, uh, coach of the year. St. Brown offensive. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson defense. Uh, uh, Manning wins a rookie of the year. Not bad. Good for him. Gatewood defense. Best quarterback goes to um, Jalen Hurts. It would be funny if uh, Jameis was on there. They should also have comeback player of the year or something like that. Barkley, uh, best running back, receiver, St. Brown. Burke, offensive lineman, Hutchinson, D. Uh, Michael Parsons, linebacker, Jair Alexander, uh, cornerback, Fairbear. And yeah, that's the NFC side. Uh, let's just take a look at the playoff bracket real quick. What is happening here? So... We lose to the Packers. The Packers beat the Panthers. The Panthers beat the Eagles. The Lions beat the Cardinals. They demolish them. But Washington takes a handle of them. Then Washington beats Green Bay. All right. AFC side. A close game there in Miami, or in Jacksonville. Uh, the Chargers beat the Chiefs, so MVP is out right away. The Colts absolutely stomped the Jets. Just stomped them out. Uh, Chargers then beat the Colts. The Baltimore beats Miami in a close game. Then Baltimore just stomps out the Chargers. All right. brother. Well, it was brother versus brother for AFC Championship. And the other brother wins again. All right. Well, uh, let's go. And no, I can't do that. Let's go Baltimore. I can't root for the same person in my division. All righty. Uh, wow. Oh, hey, look. They put the scores at the bottom there. So you can actually see. Baltimore wins a Super Bowl. Is that their second Super No, Washington wins. All right. Well, they that was totally messed up. Washington wins the Super Bowl. Um, cool. All right. So the Chiefs. So let's just do a little recap. Miami in the first year against the Eagles. Uh, Chiefs against the Seahawks. Chiefs against the Eagles. So the Eagles are just taking it. And uh, Baltimore loses to Washington. Well, congratulations, Washington. I now have to go up against that. Retirements real quick. Um, uh, uh, Sheldon Cooper Cup retires. Uh, Decker, Devonte Adams, Morton, Milano, Lane Johnson, Zach Martin, Tooney, and then 
a bunch of people on free agency. All right. Let's upgrade these people real quick. Staff week. I'm not changing a damn thing. This team is working out nicely. All right. Let's go to resigning stage real quick. We only have a couple contracts really to hand out. In reality, we have $112 million to uh, hand out. Uh, Williams, thank you, but no. Uh, Taft, I'll accept that because I could possibly just trade you. Uh, Moore, has, even though you had a good year, I know you want to come back. Uh, we got to not revamp this team, but uh, I, I don't know the word I'm looking for. Breland Allen, you can come back as the third running back. Uh, Burks, Manga, no, no. Tracy, yeah, no, not a lot of these guys have come back. Jameis, I might sign you back off of free agency after that year, but we just got to see. Uh, Elijah Moore, I could bring you back. Burks is not coming back. I mean, you did have a good year. But I... Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's just sign him back for one year. Why not? Give him uh, 8 mil for one year. Does he take it? Good. He wants to be back. We got 101 mil going into free agency. Free agency time. Um, let's just scoot right into free agency here. Who do we got? All right, that's uh, this is this was the free agency I was looking for. All right, I'm gonna comb through free agency here. I mean, you already see after one person, I am absolutely going to go all in for. Um, I'm gonna scoot through free agency here. Uh, take a look at a couple of these people, and uh, I'll see you. All righty, free agency here. I, I mean, you already saw um, offensive heavy here. Uh, I'm going heavy after Creed Humphreys. It is a massive one-year deal. I'm hoping he signs. I mean, top interest. He does want to come here. McCaffrey, no, I won't be getting rid of the running back, or Nancy. I wouldn't. I would not be getting rid of him. It's going to be a one-two punch. Uh, Kingsley uh, Sumata, he is going to be moving over to right side. To the right side, if I do get him, uh, Jonathan Allen will be secondary and. Uh, Hink, uh, Herbrig, he will be a backup to Burns. So we're adding a little bit of depth on the, on the linebacking side. Come on. Do we get him? McCaffrey, no. I get everybody else. McCaffrey, we are still in a fight with the Patriots. Um, let's go very player-friendly. I did f I did 10 mil for one year, but if we can, if we can get him, I, I think that's also going to help us on uh, offense. All right, boom. Did we get him? We got him. Anybody else truly available on free agency? Um, <laughs> we got Zach Wilson. Uh, just in case a quarterback gets injured. I mean, they want $19 million. I'm not bringing back Daniel Daniel Jones. Uh, Justin Fields look like, looks like he's going to get signed somewhere else. Spencer Rattler. Uh, I will sign him as a backup. Or no, not Spencer Rattler. Uh, Desmond Ritter. Wrong quarterback I was looking at. Uh, so we'll do that. Do we get Desmond Ritter? Yes. Okay. Massive free agency. Pretty damn cool. I'll take that. Um, what does that bring to our overalls? That brings our offense almost up to a 90 overall. Real quick, I'm going to work out a trade. All right. This is a trade I'm working out on. The the Bron uh the Bucks need a, a right tackle. I will be taking a little bit of cap hit because I did just give him that uh the the fifth year, but we'll be moving up ten spots. They take it. All right. We're now technically in the top ten in the draft, so there could be something there. I will see you in the draft. Alrighty, draft for year four. Let's hit this thing. Alright, we got a top ten pick here. Let's sim to our pick and see who gets picked. All right. Boom. Uh, all right, cool. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. Top picks here. Obviously, we're not picking a quarterback. It. Uh, this will be for a um, future pick. Unless he dropped. Where'd he go? Damn, did he drop? 
Norton? Damn, he dropped all the way to 36. This is more of like a um, a future pick. I'm just going to... It's just a little context. Just a, a, a future round pick uh, for this team. Just to... I mean, it's for the future. Norton, I mean, I know he's not a power rusher. But, yeah. Let's pick him. He is going to re be a replacement for Dexter in the future. Dang, he's a normal development. That kind of sucks. All right. On to the next pick. Boom. First, second round. The board is absolutely glitched out because Madden does fantastic things. Uh, quarterbacks. Uh... No, I don't really need a quarterback. We don't need a running back. We don't need a receiver. We got a few. Um, can't go wrong with another offensive lineman pick. Could always could always use a backup offensive tackle. Not bad. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's not bad. I really don't have any other picks for this draft. I literally spent all the money that we could in uh, free agency, but... Let's just get to the end. Alrighty, draft recap. Well, our team is looking good. Draft recap, how do we do? 76 overall for Norton, 71 for Curtis. Eh, other than that, not too great of picks. Uh, NFL-wise, who's the top overall? Delvin Mc McMillan. Alright, well, the 49ers got another running back. Alright, cool. Ingram, uh, wow, tight end, 81 overall. Going to L.A., Pretty cool. Bushrod, Springs, Hannon, uh, Crowder. All right, cool. Any steal? Uh, Sullivan, 76 overall in the fourth. And a running back. All right, cool. I'm going to set up this team once again, and I will meet you all. All righty. Here we are. Start of season four. Season goals for this team. Let's get it already. You already know. After these past couple seasons, um... Playoffs, we gotta, we gotta get that rolling. Um, upgrade players, you know, obviously just from the preseason here. Anybody big named? Uh, nobody. All right, just like, let's get that upgraded, and let's get a look at this roster. All right, let's adjust the lineup here, and boom, year four Giants. Here they are. I mean, look at that offensive line. A little bit better. I mean, obviously anchored down by Creed Humphreys down the middle. Uh, Thomas on the outside, I mean, Hutchins, I mean, the, the tight end's a, a superstar, so he, he leveled up. Neighbors is a superstar. Uh, Hendricks is an 85. We've got Collins at an 85. Yes, McCaffrey's the backup. Nance is the starting uh, running back. Sliding on over to the defense. Brown's upgraded to a star. Uh, we got Jonathan Allen. We got the rookie. Jarrett's still an, a normal a normal development. 80 overall, though. Banks is up to a superstar. Burns is down from an X-Factor to a superstar, so he's starting to get a little bit older. I mean, this team is just progressively getting better. I This is probably one of the years, but this is why we got McCaffrey. He's the third down back, so this is going to work out great. One-two punch right here. Um, signed Tyreek off of uh, free agency. Uh, Elijah Moore and uh, just the rushing end. But yeah, this team, it's starting to get good now. It's starting to really progress into its own. Uh, I mean, I'm loving it. I, Branch, again, is all the backup. I think he might take over for Connolly. I don't know what's going to happen here because, um, I mean, 26, he's 23. I honestly, I think I could start Branch. But right now, we're just going overall wise. Uh, let's get into the year. I'll see you at midseason. Here we are, midseason simulating is done right away. Uh, resigned players, as you can see, we're going to have another $135 million this offseason. But right off the bat, let's get the, let's get the big uh, stars out of the way. Malik Neighbors, sign him. Uh, S Steven Nance, let's sign him. Uh, I like even numbers. It just, it just hits right. Brian Burns, I'm going to wait on. Uh, that's why I'm – Jeremiah Connolly, I'm – I might hold off on I'm holding off on him now. Archer Loftus though, let's sign him to a, a contract. That is a good offer. Nine, we're down to 94 million. Elijah Moore we're waiting on. Um, 
Christian McCaffrey will wait on, Scott Moore, pretty much everybody else we will wait on to re-sign just because of overall-wise. Uh, Josh Collins, his contract's up. Well, that's the fifth-year option. Same thing with Creed Humphreys. We'll wait on him because he is 30 years old. So, But we're 5-2 and two right now. This team is rolling. Let's uh, upgrade all these players now. Boom. Let's upgrade them. They're going to be playing better, hopefully. I mean, that's the goal anyway. Five and two, though. Uh, before I do anything, this is not what I want to do, not manage team. Uh, are there any injuries halfway through the season? Injury report? Clean bill health. That's what I'd like to see. All right. Now into the numbers, because we all love numbers, right? Defense is so-so. Offense is still so-so. Uh, but the... Okay. All right, we're... We're working on running games a little bit better, passing games a little bit better. Points per game is still about the same. Defense is still about the same mid-table with the passing defense doing not so well. All right. Uh, nobody in the top there. Let's just take a look at our team real quick. You know, good old stats. Collins, 11-5. and five. He's taking a little step back. I don't like that. Uh, running the ball, Nance is leading it. McCaffrey's got 100 yards. All right, but Nance is doing it. He's got seven rushing touchdowns. I like that. Uh, McCaffrey's only got 100 yards. Uh, Brad Hutchins, he's leading our team, the tight end. Elijah Moore, then Neighbors, and then Marquez Hendricks. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Not bad. I'll, you know, I'll take that. Sacks-wise, offensive line is keeping it as clean as possible. McConnelly is the only one that hasn't given up a sack. Defense, Witherspoon, Browns, Phillips, tack for losses, Thibodeau, Jarrett, and uh, Lawrence, sacks-wise, Kayvon's up there. Lawrence isn't up there, and Burns is, wow. All right. Sacks isn't getting it this year. Phillips, though, uh, Brown, Newbin, Worthy, and Lowry. Any forced fumbles, only one. Uh, we got one block. Any defensive touchdowns, nothing. And, uh, wow, well, all right. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Kicking. Uh, yeah. This Hey, this team... This team's winning, though. That, that's the only thing that matters. I will see you at the end of the season. At the end of Season 4, we are 13-4. and four. We are just going up. This team is just going up. 13 wins, 4 losses. I'll take that. Josh Collins, again, a good season. But everyone's gotten points there. We're just doing fantastic there. New ability unlocked by Banks and Hutchins, the tight end. We are the third highest scoring team. All right, first in passing. The defense did get better throughout the year, especially the rush uh, rush defense. I like to see that. Beautiful, thirteen and four. We only finished behind the fourteen and three Saints, so not not bad. Number one in the NFC East. Josh Collin. Josh Collins, best passer in the league. Let's go. That's pretty damn good. I'll take that. You know, I'll definitely take that. 70% completion. Yeah, Thibodeau, sack leader. There we go. I was talking about how we don't get sacks. To the stats. 39 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Not bad, but 4,700 passing yards. Nance with 800. McCaffrey with 300. 300 by Collins himself with four touchdowns apiece. Malik Neighbors, thir uh, 1,200 passing uh, yards. 13 touchdowns, 10 by Elijah. Another that We have 4,000-yard receivers. Not bad. That is pretty... Listen, I'll take that. Blocking-wise. Andrew Thomas, not bad. Creed Humphrey, you know, we didn't do too bad. Tackling, team team effort, Thibodeau with the most. And then Thibodeau took over with 21 sacks. Not bad. 10 by Lawrence. Burns only had 2.5. I don't like that at all. Three interceptions by these guys. Uh, Worthy, Newbin, Larry, and Porter with one each. Fumble recoveries, only one. Two blocks. All right. Uh, kicking, not bad. 91%. That's what we're paying you for. Uh, across the league, though, not bad. Josh Josh Collins, number one, like I said. Uh, but with 70% completion, right above Goff, Love, Purdy, Burrow, Allen. The running backs, Kyron Williams, Tyler Algier. Uh, uh, Bijan Robinson, Pierce, Pacheco, 
Uh, St. Brown is your leading guy. Puka, Brand, uh, Brandon Ayuk, Justin Jefferson, then Malik Neighbors, top five. Not bad. Uh, who had the most catching touchdowns? Shakir, I forgot to do that for running the last couple of years. Sorry. Jalen Hurts, I'm not surprised there with Lamar Jackson. HM, though, hey. Blocking, who gave up the most sacks? Jeez. All right. So at least it's less than 20. Gibbons, most tackles. Anderson with the most tackles for losses. Sacks, Thibodeau led the league. Uh, Tyler Britt with the most interceptions. Who forced the most fumbles? It was a tie between all these guys. All right. Hey, hey listen. I will take that. Number one offense. When was the last time you saw the Giants with the number one offense? I'll, I'll take that. But we're going up against Dub Bears. But we're at home here. Caleb Williams coming into town, into New York. Can we give him the good old New York welcome? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before that, I forgot. Saints are the number one seed. Giants, number two seed going up against the Bears. Sam Fran versus the Rams. So we got a little rivalry going on there. Green Bay versus the Eagles down there. Chiefs with the number one seed across on the AFC side. Bills, Ravens, that's interesting. Just alone, that alone. Denver, uh, Steelers, a uh, little playoff rivalry there, kind of. And then you got Tennessee and the Chargers. All right. Can this team keep her rolling onto the divisional round? Man, we I got to take a look, up, a look back at that. But we steamroll the Dub Airs 45 to 7. Not bad, but we are going uh, going up against a pretty tough opponent, the San Francisco 49ers. But they are coming to us at MetLife. I mean, their defense is just as elite as ours. Same thing with their offense. But what did we get with the weekly player, John Collins and Witherspoons. Colin had five passing touchdowns. That's what you like to see. All right. Can we keep this thing rolling against just as good a team, the San Francisco 49ers? Come on. Nope. We lose 27-24. That, uh, that stings. That does sting. All right. I want to see there. Did we play the Saints at all or whatever during our, our schedule? How did we lose... Um, how did we lose the number one seed? Because I, I bet we did good here. All right, we started at, uh, what, 5-1, five 5-2. and, one, five and two. We won the next two. We lost against the Steelers, beat the Packers, lost against the Texans, Commanders, Cowboys, Bengals, and we won out. That game against the Texans probably screwed us. That's probably what it was. I mean, we won out. Uh, Saints, I mean, it, it's all over now, but let's just take a look. The Saints did win out, but uh, yeah, listen, they had a pretty good team. Uh, I, I'll take it. I'll take the L. Uh, it does suck, but let's see who goes to the Super Bowl. Uh, another divisional round loss for us. Uh, listen, it is what it is. We'll leave it off at the Super Bowl, but Chiefs 49ers again for the Super Bowl. Can the 49ers finally win a Super Bowl? Thibodeau, uh, Kayvon gets two skill points there. He probably got a player of the year. Let's just take a look at yearly rewards. As you can see, Josh Allen got um, MVP. Collins finished ninth, so that's pretty cool. Coach of the year goes to the Saints. NFC side, Amon Rob wins it back-to-back -back years. Thibodeau wins defensive. Hey, I'll take that. Offensive rookie goes to the Saints running back. Storm for... The Packers, uh, Collins finishes fifth running backs. Uh, Nance finishes 10th receivers. Did we get anybody? Neighbors and more in the top 10. Connolly, I, I was talking I was talking about him, trying, thinking about getting rid of him, and here he is, the best offensive lineman in the NFC. And Humphrey's down there as well. Kib Thibodeau, um, best D linemen, linebackers. Uh, we got nobody. D backs, we got Phillips, Drew Phillips, Justin Tucker. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Who wins this? Well, wow, that was a close game against the Saints. They won by three points. They won by a touchdown, three points, three points. Now they're there. Uh, Chiefs win by three points, back to back games. All right. Not bad whatsoever. All right. Uh, 
let's see who wins the Super Bowl. Do the 49ers finally get their revenge? The San Francisco 49ers finally win their sixth Super Bowl, and they finally defeat the Chiefs. Congratulations, 49ers. Uh, well, damn, this kind of sucks. We, we had a, a really good year. Diggs retires, Smith, uh, Stanley, Teller, Corbett, Armstead, Fuller, Tyreek Hill, Christian McCaffrey retires. So there goes our two guys. Justin Tucker retires, uh, Lawrence, Petonio. Uh, damn, that really does suck. Uh, once again, I'm not moving anything on the staffs. We, we have gotten better over year over year with this team. Uh, sometimes even faster than I thought, especially the what the second year making the playoffs. Um, those were retirements. I'm just gonna move it on over to the re-signing stage, so you can so you can tell me how how it how to feel. Uh, our staff does we do lose a couple staff people. It probably looks like um, our tight end goes up to superstar X factor. So these are all the guys to resign. Brian Burns goes down to an 84 overall. Creed Humphreys is still a 95, so we could possibly sign him. Connolly goes up to an 83. These are all the guys to resign for year five. Uh, tell me who, uh, who you would like to see back uh, down in the comments below. Um, stats and awards. Let's take a look at the career stats through four seasons overall. Not that, the coach stats. Through four seasons, I'm definitely at the bottom here. Uh, here we are through four seasons. I am 39 and 37 with the New York Giants. We have three winning seasons, two and three in the playoffs. So I'm I am 41 and 40 throughout four seasons. So I'm a tremendous 500 coach if you want to look at it that way. But uh, let me know who you want to see resigned. Uh, until then, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for sticking around. Peace.